TPE friends and family, Rob Rao Horst here. It's November the 17th, and as you can see in the background and with what I'm wearing, it is now gun season in Michigan. The Orange Army is about, so if you can't beat them, join them. Anyway, I'm back in my spot in New Era. Hopefully I can uh, get some action tonight. I hunted this morning and uh, didn't see anything at my river property in Muskegon County on an opening day up in Lake County on public land. I saw a total of four does at 7.45 in the morning, and that was it, sitting all day. It was slow, but a buddy of mine that I went up there with, and a guy who's like my second dad, who doesn't get out to hunt very much, was uh, was able to shoot a, a decent little eight point, so that was cool. But uh, we're here for the evening hunt. If nothing happens back in the woods here, I'll probably get down a little early and sneak my way up to the uh, chestnut orchard that I'm hunting off of and uh, hopefully be able to smack something in the field. So, stay tuned.
Well, here's what I can tell you. I saw a deer. Deer came in. Big doe. I took a shot. Looked like I hit her just fine. Went back and reviewed the footage. I also noticed that I hit a branch about uh, halfway between where she was and where I was. So, we're going to go find out. So we're back in the woods. So, there in that pine tree is where I was. Right here is where said branch was. And I tell you what, I killed the shit out of that branch too. I mean, oh yeah, it's real dead. That is a real dead branch, for sure. And right over here is where said deer was. And would you look at that? Oh, I got her! Yeah. Oh yeah, I got some... Got some, some decent blood. Oh. That right there. It's got a lot of bubbles in it. Which tells me lungs. Which tells me she can go very far. More. Tell you what, I love the snow on the ground. Makes life real easy. Oh, there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. Big old splatter there. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's opening up pretty good now. Okay, I got a little... Blood's getting a little bit spotty. At least right now. But it's still pretty consistent. I mean, I'm sorry about that. It's uh... It's nice and bright red and got bubbles in it, so. But it's got a little spotty. Seems to almost be stumbling and dragging now. Oh, would you looky yonder there? <laughs> yeah, baby. Would you looky yonder there? He went, oh, 100 yards or so maybe, if that. Ran a big old circle. I mean, realistically from the stand, she's probably only 50, 60 yards, but oh my gosh. Well, that makes sense though, because there's, there's big old dead deer right here. Nice big old girl. So, the important part.
the tag. Well, here she is. Put my knife away real quick. Uh, nice big old doe. I'm extremely happy with her. She's a uh, she big old girl. Took a look at her teeth earlier. I'm guessing somewhere in the three and a half, four and a half year old range. Nice mature doe. Um, her and uh, four others came in together and uh, they just kind of milled around in front of me for a little while and had a doe tag for this uh, county and figured, you know, I've had a heck of a season as it is. I've had a lot of close calls on some really nice bucks. Um, been trying to shoot a doe out here as well and just haven't been able to get it done. And I figured uh, no time like the present. So um, old Betty Lou here, the trusty uh, Remington 270 did its job wonderfully. Um, took it out, hit her, hit her perfect really, surprisingly, because I actually, uh, and as you saw in the footage, I, I hit a limb before her. Um, so, you know, got really lucky, in all honesty, that I that I got the shot that I did. Um, got one long into the liver, and she didn't go but maybe 60, 70 yards. Uh, great hunt, a lot of fun. Oh,